So at this point of time, how long can you actually sit and study? Twenty hours, twenty-one hours. I have done that. So from the morning till the night, you should be going through that notebook as many times as possible. Do you recommend a J E aspirant or a NEET aspirant? You know, get into a relationship while they are studying. Uh, If you are a student who is preparing for a competitive exam like IIT J, where the competition is so intense, then this video is for you. Because in today's video, we have Anuj, who is a doctor, content creator, entrepreneur, who was also one of the toppers in NEET UG 2019. He also got two gold medals and nine distinctions. in mbps and is now preparing for neat pg 2024 and that's exactly the reason why he's the perfect fit for today's podcast about how to become a topper if you're a mediocre student let's start hi and so first things first the goal of this entire podcast or the interview is that if someone is watching this video till the end i want to make sure that they are scoring at least 5 to 10 marks more in their next exam so first question uh let's take you You have one month to remember entire NCERT chemistry textbook. One month, one NCERT textbook end to end. What are the things uh, that you do to make sure that you remember it properly? First of all, uh, I'll take the book and I'll look at the index. Most important page is the index. You okay. see which are the topics. You see, do you know anything about them? Do you know something? Which are your weakest? Which are your strongest? And my first target will be the weakest ones. Like that's where I'll improve most of my marks. Going about to how will I actually read it? The most important thing I'll be doing is. taking notes because okay. before the exam i will not have the time to read the book once again now how will i make my notes i will open up each of the chapters and when i'm reading i'll write down only the important topics in it Got next it. what i the most important step which i did way back in class 11th uh, and 12th as well uh, is that i'll frame questions from as many topics as i can for example taking the digestive tract instead of just writing down the entire theory about this is how a protein is digested in our body Uh, I'll actually just write the question, which is the enzyme which is most important for protein digestion. Mm. So I'm practicing active recall from the morning till the night. You should be going through that notebook as many times as possible. So this is the way I would go for it. So now one big question inside this is, uh, would you also read your NCERT biology or chemistry textbook again apart from your class notes, or wouldn't you care about it? I probably would not care about it that much if my notes are everything. Mm-hmm. If my notes have everything which is important, which is being asked upon, I probably would n- would not read it as frequently as I would read my notes. Now imagine there are a couple of instances, couple of topics that you don't understand. So def- you definitely don't have time to uh, see the entire lecture right now, right? Yeah. So what will the source be right now? So I would just try to solve the questions from that. You might think that it's counterintuitive. I don't even know the topic. How will I solve the question? So yes, you will get the answer incorrect. But then you read the explanation. You solve okay. the question. you get it wrong so you know that what what they are trying to ask and if you find that that explanation is uh, something which is worthwhile write it down in your notebook got it so at this point of time how long can you actually sit and study longest i probably have done 20 hours 21 hours i have done that so in the morning uh, from let's say 5 i have studied till night at 1 or 1:30 so i think holy shit but how how how, how did you do that like that's usually <clears throat> happening one day before the exam it's not something okay. which i recommend mm-hmm. so one day before the exam i'm just trying to cram everything no question should go missed the next day so how do you plan out these long sessions people go out for lunch dinner whatever it is right and there are also a lot of distractions just uh, turn off all the internet and then okay. just uh, put the mobile phone in a different room next with respect to your lunch dinner and all so i do take half an hour in between but that half an hour there there should be no mobile phones there should be no screens my plan usually is i revise two times before the going to the exam so if i have let's say tomorrow i've got a test with three three chapters so those three chapters should be done two times and during the last day don't focus that much on understanding this is something which i'll say in a opposite direction what are some of the worst habits that a student can have while preparing for a competitive examination first is uh, having too much uh, indulgence into social media mm-hmm. secondly i would say is uh, your body ignoring your physical health is something which you should avoid do you recommend a j e aspirant or a neat aspirant to you know get into a relationship while they are studying uh, it depends on what kind of a person your partner is the partner is good for you if you are both productive i would recommend it because it's like having a best friend if it's the other way around if you are feeling that too much time is being wasted dump them so uh, have you ever had any of your friends who don't appear like they're studying right they be like time pass kar rahe morning ut kya they're like but when you see their their, their exam ka marks 
they are always on the top mm-hmm. and some people who study the entire day they are they are almost at the bottom the people who are studying so much every day from the third perspective it might feel ki okay they are studying so much maybe they are sitting in the library subah se sham tak but how much of that time are they actually putting in to studies when you actually deeply look they are on the same page since two hours so have mm-hmm. they actually made any progress so maybe they are zoning out so most important is uh, the number of hours the number of quality time you are spending uh, reading and studying rather than looking at i studied 15 hours today just look at out of those 15 hours how many hours did you give your 100% best efficient like that is the most efficient you have been like so the people who you know top even after less studying they study in that zone and use the other hours just for enjoying life and i think that's the way it should be if there's a student who's not even average like below average how long do you think would it take for him to be in the top 5 do you think anyone can do it i think every person can actually do it you should just know what are your weak areas and you should just put in the hours because may- the reason why you're scoring low is maybe you have not done your basics well maybe you have not done your 10th maybe you have not done your 9th or maybe your 11th that well so without putting in the hours there is no way ki levels makes you have sense. to climb makes sense makes sense Yeah so I guess that is it I just wanted to uh hit up on a touch up on a couple of basics right and I think we have completely done it I believe this would be helpful for the people who are watching this video at least right uh I really so thank you so much so that was it the entire conversation between me and Anuj happened for more than 1 hour but these were some of the most important questions and answers I hope it was useful but just remember all this strategy it's just a waste of time if you don't start working hard if you don't take the action so make sure that you start you use these tips and score at least 5 to 10 marks extra 5 to 10 marks more from the next exam onwards that is the goal i wish you all the best i want you to win and you will win see you